Hello and welcome to the Schedule channel and today I want to finally show you guys my living room setup for my mini ITX gaming PC. Now as you guys may have known on the channel I put out a lot of desk setups but what I haven't really shown off is a living room setup that uses a gaming PC and the main bottleneck I've encountered with all of those setups has indefinitely been the TV. Because of course being a PC gamer a lot of us are spoiled with our monitors that are 144 hertz with a 1 milliseconds response time all with like G-Sync or FreeSync all out of the box and currently there's a lot of TVs out there that just can't match the specs especially for a full-on gaming PC up until I got my hands on the LG C1065. As many of you may know Forza Horizon 4 is my favorite game to play right now on PC and whenever I need a bigger experience versus what I have here behind me moving my mini ITX PC downstairs and using this new setup has actually provided me a little bit more of a more traditional experience because whenever I was growing up I did play on console, like the original Xbox and Xbox 360, again on the original Forza Motorsport titles, and having a similar gaming experience to what I had as a kid now with this PC and TV has just been not only a throwback, but also a lot more enjoyable than back then, because of course the TV and the PC that I'm rocking in this setup has been very enjoyable to play around with on that game. So for you guys who want to learn more about this PC living room setup, I'll go ahead and talk about, of course, the main star of the setup, the LG C1065, as well as my mini ITX PC and some other accessories and peripherals I'm throwing in along with the setup to give a really simple yet complete PC gaming living room setup. Anyways, let's talk about the setup starting off with the LG C1065. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of us PC gamers are spoiled with our monitors because they can go up to 144Hz and 165Hz and above. And with the LG C1065, it can support 120Hz right out of the box, which is very impressive to see from a TV of this caliber. So that assures that you're going to be seeing a lot of frames on screen, which again is really essential for a game like Forza Horizon 4, where the more frames on screen are displayed, the better your precision is when it comes to making really tight corners. Now, of course, you can't have a high refresh rate gaming experience without any sort of anti-screen tearing technology. And luckily, this TV also supports G-Sync and FreeSync out of the box, which luckily works in tangent with my RTX 2080 Super inside of my PC. So that's going to provide me a liquid smooth racing experience while not having any screen tearing that could take away from the experience. So it's got the refresh rate, it's got the anti-screen tearing technology, but to pair along with those two features, this TV also features a one milliseconds response time, which again, is really impressive to see from a TV of this caliber because that's usually a response time seen on most gaming monitors like this one behind me. But to see that on a really big TV with additional features, all the more impressive in my opinion. And of course, combine all of those features with up to 4K supported on this TV, which for a game like Forza, I believe is actually a bonus because unlike in first person shooter games, the necessity for those titles to be high resolution isn't the greatest. Usually frames per second is for those titles, but for racing games, you want the picture to look pretty. And with 4K supported on this TV, along with the high refresh rate with no any sort of screen tearing, the overall gaming experience on Forza has been wonderful on my PC with the LG C1065. But it doesn't stop there because this is an LG TV. Why is that? Well, this new LG TV supports self-lit OLED technology, which basically means that all the pixels on this TV are independently lit, which allows for a much more vibrant and contrasted image with deep blacks and really vibrant colors which thinks that self-lit OLED technology has made my Forza Horizon 4 gaming experience, which already looked pretty good just on its own, now just even better and racing through the streets and viewing all the different landscapes and city there is for the game to offer has just been really mind blowing and is absolutely light years ahead of what I was experiencing when I was a kid playing on my original Xbox and Xbox 360 on my standard high definition TV back in the day. So if you wanna learn more about the LG C1065, I'll have a link to that TV in the description below if you wanna possibly check it out for yourself. So that's enough about the TV. Let's talk about the mini ITX I have sitting right next to it, my NZXT H1 mini ITX PC. Now this little bad boy features the i7 9700K and RTX 2080 Super Founders Edition, 16 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz Castlane C18 memory, 
and it has a 500 gigabyte M.2 SSD all in that mini ITX H1 enclosure from NZXT that is both water cooled and comes with its own SFX power supply. And that little beast right there has been the main gaming PC that's pushing out all those really high density, high quality pixels to the LG C1065. And it's just been a great combo because despite how big the TV is, I still managed to fit this little mini ITX tower PC right next to it. So it's been a little bit lucky because my TV stand is being quite stretched, but it all works, which is great. Now one additional peripheral I am throwing into the setup is the Elgato 4K 60S Plus, which is an independent capture card, which doesn't need to be hooked up to a PC to capture gameplay. It can do it independently, but it can take in up to a 4K signal and output a 4K signal at the same time. So if I wanted to like maybe just record some gameplay, you know, just for good old time's sake, I can press the record button on the device and I'll capture it straight to an SD card. And then I can take that SD card, bring it up to my PC right here and check out the footage. And then to finish up the setup, I am actually using a regular Xbox One controller right now to do all my racing in, at least for Forza Horizon 4, because that is a more arcade style game. But if I were to say play Forza Motorsport 8, the upcoming Gran Turismo 7, F1 2020, or maybe even Project Cars 3, you can bet your butt I'd be willing to hook up a full-on sim setup with racing pedals, a racing wheel, and along with the frame in front of this TV living room setup. So that's what I'm using right now, but there's some expandability as far as my control of use for this setup. So that is it for finally showing you guys my living room PC gaming setup since I moved into this house just under a year ago. And it's about time I show you guys what I had going on downstairs, besides what I always show you in this room. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the Skyfall channel because I do make occasional setups here and there, those being desk setups, and now for this first video, a living room PC gaming setup. I've also got a Twitter, an Instagram, a TikTok, and a Discord, and a Twitch. So I have five different things you can play around with to interact more with my channel. So I'd recommend at least looking into one of those because I'm pretty sure you have an account on at least one of those four platforms or no, one of those five platforms. And that is it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. And this is the Skyvolt channel signing out.